with another unboxing. Uh, this is a game that I purchased at Gen Con 50. Shocking. Uh, it's called Viral. Apparently we, it's really popular. It, it, it flew off the shelves. It caught on like a virus. No? Okay. okay. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> so. Uh, today we are unboxing Viral, and actually we are unboxing it so we can play it. Oh yes. my god, we're actually going to unbox something and then immediately play it, which is great. Uh, we but are... we won't be able to record that playthrough. No, because we're meeting up with friends at somebody else's house. We're just providing said game for everyone to play. So we're going to get a good taste of it, and then we will record a playthrough for you guys to see. Um, this game, while gross, is adorable. It's not gross. Viruses are gross. Okay, okay, the, the, the premise sounds gross, gross, but it looks pretty kid-friendly. Yes, um, so in the game, everyone plays a different type of virus that is invading a host body, um, and the point of the game is to basically get as many virus points, is that what they call them in the game? Yep, <laughs> They're VP. Vi VP, victory points, virus points. Um, you're, you're trying to have the most at the end of six rounds. You're so. essentially killing the victim? Yeah. Dark game. A little dark. But Definitely with a, like a, children. a kid skin kind of over it. All right. Awkward. Let's unbox this <laughs> and see what we have inside. All right, let's see what's inside. Okay, so first of all. Let's look the, at the back. Let's take this off. Yes. Yeah, so it's a little say, less shiny. The, the art on the box is, this is the style of the game. It's very like cartoon friendly, uh, creepy, but friendly viruses. Hey, guess what? What? Spy gloss. Spy gloss. It's a thing. It's all the rage right now. It is. All right. So on the back, you can see what the board looks like. Two to five players, they 12 and up. 12 and up. I think that's not because it's not kid-friendly. I think it's because it potentially is more complex for younger players. Um, but looks like you could probably get a kid into it. Yeah. 60 to 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is what we have. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that, was, that was it? That was it. That was it. I mean, RK and Wonders. Yep. Okay. So let's open it up. This is... One of my favorite parts. Is it the, the the actual unboxing? The seal breaking yeah. on the. Uh, Ooh, the box. what do we have? Nothing inside, Nothing. but but look at the signs. We have some viruses. Yeah, they're they look very virusy. So those are all the different viruses that you can play in the game. Um, yep, and looks like first thing up is the rule book. Uh, full color. Yeah. Rules. So it looks. Here's setup. Here's how all the different cards work. It looks complex, but from what we know, it is actually not a very complex game to play. It's very well laid out on the board as to what you're supposed to do in each part of a round. So I, while I was about to leave one day because they were closing the hall down, um, someone demoing it who was actually wearing a lab coat was like, I can show you how to play real quickly, 30 seconds, and then blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I kind of got it. Okay. Um, so the board is not huge, four, no. four squares, and the, the rule book was only 15 pages, which is right. pretty average for a game rule book. Um, so it's victory points, victory, viral points. Viral points on that side. Here is, from top to bottom, what happens in a round. Uh, and then in the middle here is our, our, our human, our, the inside of our human. I guess you could pretend Brain, it's not a human. heart broken into two parts, lungs, lungs broken into two parts, liver, pancreas, small intestine, stomach, large intestine, kidneys, two parts. Yep. So that's pretty clear. Yeah. Nice looking board. Very nice. Uh, ooh, baggies. Lots of air inside baggies, this box. Baggies, baggies, ba Wow. Okay. Looks like... Baggies! Looks like... <laughs> I won't have to give up some of my sandwich bags because we have some. Uh, it's very nice that they provide these sorts of things because it drives me crazy when they don't. Player right. tokens. Player tokens. That's cool. These get used, obviously, uh, to track your victory no, points. No, no blue well or red. Interesting. You're going to have to be not red. I'm going to have to not be red. How do you feel about that? Virus tokens. So each virus uh, that is your player. Can I hold on? Oh, yes, please. So each virus that you have is actually um, not only uh, a different color, but it's also a different shape, which is, an, again, another reason why I feel like it's a bit kid-friendly, is because you can tactile 
feel the different shapes of each player token plus their different color um, so it's very easy for you to distinguish who is which player when you're placing your viruses on the body and the board which i think is a really nice feature yeah it's not something that a lot of people think of when they're building board games all the tokens are probably the same because it's easier yeah. to print tokens that are all the same cheaper yeah and this is nice because they are um all different shapes and the back has something the back is your the different um viruses but with shields on them so you can get shields in the game that allow you to defend against um uh, different types of attacks in so so that the, these are the player uh the viruses here we have the six eight sorry eight um different parts of the body uh these get placed on the board randomly randomly in these spots and they tell you what happened uh in that spot when you get to the the part where you're counting points so that's i believe number of virus points and then this is the number of research uh that you go up yes. for winning that section so and they are double-sided because at a certain point you will flip them and depending that number will go up or down yes um, we also have the four critical tokens, which get placed um, on the different parts of the body when uh, basically there's a critical mass of virus there. Um, and then every, I believe everybody ends up taking research and getting wiped off or something like that. Something like that. And then the first player first token. First player token. So uh, next up we have cards. We'll open those up. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to show. So here are all of the different player boards. Uh, get all of them out it here we go so each one has a picture of the virus on it as well as what each of the different symbols mean so this is your handy first player I mean your player token as well as uh, your like you know that card that you get you set next to things instead they print it on the board to tell you what all the rules are um, which is really nice and again yeah no red or blue what color are you gonna be when we play uh, I don't know maybe purple Okay, well, we'll see when we get there. We're going to fight for it. We are going to fight it. Okay, so here are the cards. Each player gets the player cards of their color and virus. These are the different parts of the body. So zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, five, and six. So when you play the game, uh, you're going to pair one of those cards with an action card, which are the vial cards. And each one does a different thing. And there are basic ones, and then there's advancement, basically, ones that you can get later on in the game when you do certain things. So everyone starts with the basic So actions. this pretty much says place a virus. Yep. That's what the symbol means. And you can fight a virus. You can and it put says you on your shield. sheet ah, yes. so that you can refer back to your, your player mat uh, while you're looking at your cards without having to ask someone and giving away your game. Oh! Oh, the card is messed up what happened flip it over what kind of card is it oh well that's no good we'll, we'll write to them and let them we know well that's really disappointing guys come on and how then, did that happen was no, it on the bottom no it was sealed no it was in the middle that is so strange and then we have these other viral cards mm, and those are the event cards so you deal six of these on the board and they uh indicate when they get flipped over and once they're gone that's the end of all six rounds and the game is over and whoever has the most virus points wins yeah. that's a shame that we have one card as damage it is and um, shooter alert so we got special at gen con an extra card this is the con mutation card that i know we talked about when we did our gen con haul uh thing but this is special that you could only pick up at Gen Con. It was yeah. at the booth when Eric got it, uh, bought the game. So that gets added in. So Maybe it'll replace the intruder alert. But this one's worth a victory point and that one's not. All right. Well, we'll, we'll mix we'll, it in and we'll, see what happens. We'll maybe write to them and ask them. We'll definitely write to them. them. All right. So there we go. That is now an empty box that we need to put all the things in. But for now, I think that's pretty cool. And it is nice that they gave us all the bags. It is nice that, that they gave us That never happens. I'm not so, sure if it... If it fills the, the void in my heart of a damaged card. But Might. we are good to go. That was an unboxing of Viral, which we will play today. In T minus a couple hours. Yes. So really hope you guys had a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will talk to you next time. Bye guys.